Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have an absolutely insane video. Ewok from FaZe Clan absolutely destroyed Fortnite, calling them out on Twitter. It was the craziest tweet I've ever seen from her. But first, Courage JD and Tim the Tatman vowing not to play Fortnite anymore after rage quitting the Twitch Rivals event yesterday. So we're going to cover all of that crazy drama today, guys. These players are freaking out. And I just want to let you all know, I know a lot of the videos have been about the mech recently but that's because all of the big news in the community is about the mech whenever there's been a big story that doesn't involve the mech i've jumped right on it and tried to cover it like yesterday the whole tifu situation and him quitting the twitch rivals event that had nothing to do with the mech and then three days ago i made a video about mongrel benji fishy and mitra losing because of the zombie glitch in retail row and then tifu versus clicks and booga crazy north american finals games so i just want you guys all to know i'm trying my best to avoid talking about the mech as much as possible but everything seems to be about it so it has definitely been really hard but today's video guys trust me you have never seen these guys go off like this before so if you're excited to see how Ewok roasted Epic Games so hard and how Courage JD and Tim the Tapman are freaking out, drop a like on this video. Every like really helps support the channel. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, guys, because you know you want to stay updated on all this crazy news and drama every single day. And of course, I upload every day. So drop that sub. And now let's jump into it. And we're going to start off with Courage JD and Tim the Tapman, who were playing in the Twitch Rivals event yesterday during the duos portion of the event and of course they ran into a mech it was super unfortunate because they were trying to avoid it at all costs and also they had such a great setup let's go ahead and roll the beginning of that situation just do what you want brother but i just hide like in here don't even build dude this is effing pacific rims going on outside dog I, i'm hiding inside dude Maybe because if we build they'll know We got oh my god. Shh. Oh my god. It's literally it's Michael. Lunez. Bay. It's it's Electra and Lunez. <laughs> we got zone! Oh bug! Don't make sound. The max outside. So Tim and Courage, they're in a situation that I've been in, and I'm sure some of you guys have been in, where there's a mech around you, and you just do not want them to find you, because if they do, you're dead. Mech is OP, we all know that. So they decided to just camp it out in the kitchen, and it was a good idea, you know? There's no reason for the mech to go there or think that they might be there, especially considering how small the zone is. You would expect players who have a mech to play elevation, you know, play the hills, so nobody can shoot at them, but instead, they just ran randomly do this roll it no like a sound oh my god the next one oh no oh. Launch, launch, oh. Launch, launch, launch. I lost I lost what are the odds Dude! It's literally so stupid. Why did they just blow up that one building we were in, dude? Yeah, it's very clear that Courage was pissed off. It seems like he might have taken some G Fuel before this game. That really got him amped up. By the way, guys, G Fuel... 30% off right now. Click the link down below in the description or in the comments. Seriously, you get 30% off anything in their store. It's such a good deal. You do not want to miss out on it. Go check that out. But anyways, sorry for the shameless plug. And at the end there, it's so true. Like, why would those guys go for that house? <laughs> there was nothing going on there. There was no building. It was just a super unfortunate situation, which led to Courage blowing up. But that definitely wasn't the end of it. He continued to talk about the situation over the next 20 minutes, almost breaking down in tears and calling out Epic Games for just being liars. Let's roll it. I want to like actually cry, dude. <laughs> I saw, dude. Like, I, like, I'm not even exaggerating when I say I, actually, I genuinely want to cry, bro. Yeah. Dude, that was so hard griefed, man. Like, very unlucky that they randomly decided to do this. Like, it, I, I, I feel sick, dude. I feel sick. 
I oh, cannot man. believe that this is still a thing. And we're so far from whatever's to come in season 11, dude. Like, whatever relief we'll get, bro, we're so far away. Dude, what week are we in? Three? Wow. As I said, guys, Courage JD, like, you can hear it in his voice. He wants to break down and cry, which is sad because you can see how passionate he is about Fortnite. He truly loves the game, and I do as well. Without Fortnite, there's no Fortnite guy. There's no World Cup, which I loved experiencing and watching. There's no Kungarna. There's nothing. We are literally nothing without Fortnite. So it's such an incredible game, but it's so unfortunate what they are doing to it. And that's why these guys don't want to play anymore. Courage, you saw him. He quit Twitch Rivals, and he said on Twitter that he's not playing Twitch Rivals on Thursday, which is today, and guess what? He didn't. He played Minecraft. And it's not just him, Tim the Tapman yesterday saying that once WoW Classic comes out, he is done with Fortnite. Let's roll that. Listen, bro, I promise you when Classic comes out, when Classic WoW comes out, I will not be playing Fortnite for a while. I promise you. I'm just going to grind. I'm going to grind Fortnite or I'm going to grind WoW and hopefully things change. You can hear the disappointment in his words, and then Courage, he went off, and this is where he quit Twitch Rivals and also called out Epic Games for lying. Let's roll that. Like, dude, you, we were kidding. It makes we no were both, sense, dude. We were both this so kidding. make sense. I talked to so many people at Epic about so many things, and they get me so excited, and then they do this, bro. There's no rewarding part of this thing, dude. I can't yeah. find anyone that likes these. When you use them, they feel terrible, bro. Like, it's making my blood boil, dude. No, I agree. I'm with you. Holy... It, there's no actual reasoning behind this, bro. Holy... Man, I'm not playing anymore, bro. I'm off this game. I'm sorry, Tim. I'm not playing anymore today. It's I'm good. off this game bro it's all right i get it i love this game so much and how incompetent is this decision dude i'm off this game i can't play it all right and that was it he decided to quit the tournament there he didn't play today and now he's playing minecraft he is so fed up with fortnite and he mentioned that he had talks with the developers from fortnite they said that oh the game yeah it's gonna be a great direction you're gonna love it they got him all excited and then they crush him by doing this mech bs and the junk rift bs ruining the game so they're basically just lying to him and that's that for courage jd we're about to jump into what ewok said on twitter when she called out fortnite hard but first let's take a look at this clip earlier today of tim the tapman reinforcing his statement that he will not play fortnite once wow classic comes out roll it like, i i'm literally at a point and it's hard too man and i've said like i'm I just so you know i'm playing i'm playing fortnite today in the in the tournament but that's it i'm not i'm I, i'm not i'm not playing anymore the only reason i'm playing in that tournament is because i'd be letting lupo and jordan and my teammates down if i don't play but i'm not playing i'm not playing fortnite before that today i'm not i can't i'm not having fun playing fortnite i'm not having fun I, I either win with a mech with, and it's boring, or I lose to a mech and it's boring. That is what, that is where I'm at right now. And I'm not trying to yell at developers because I understand they have their own reasoning, but I'm saying that me as a, as a fan, as someone that loves the game, I love the game. I'm just not having fun. So that's it. Tim is basically done with Fortnite. Courage is basically done with Fortnite. And based off things Ninja's doing, he seems to be almost fed up with Fortnite and so many other big players. Now let's move on and let's take a look at what happened with Ewok and how she called out Fortnite. It all started with this tweet from Benji Fishy. He said, I just died to people teaming in a mech in a solo tournament for money. Please fix your game at Fortnite. And then he posted a clip. Let's roll it. Yeah, I'd be pissed off like Benji Fishy as well. It's stupid. Why are players able to work together in solo events for money? 
It doesn't make sense, guys. So, Ewok from FaZe responded, Oh, you guys aren't ready for this. She said, At Fortnite, Please do something I haven't been able to do since birth. Listen. Oh, man. I'm sure I do not need to explain it to you guys. This is a massive shot fired at Epic Games, and she is so right. They need to listen. Everybody in the community wants the mech on. I know there's some players here and there that don't agree with the community, but you guys have to realize we don't want mechs gone from everything. They can make an LTM. That's fine. And maybe even a casual mode. It can be in like trios or squad. But it should not be in arena modes. It should not be in tournament modes. And it probably shouldn't be in solo casuals. Because it's not a solo item. And players are just going to team. So please guys try to realize that if you do like the mech. We're not trying to remove it from the game. We're either trying to nerf it. Or get it away from the competitive modes. So yeah they need to listen to Ewok guys. But that's going to be it for that portion of the video. Let's move on now. Let's take a look at another shout out from the tryouts open customs whatever you want to call them guys i want to introduce you to bluff fortnite he is an absolute beast he tore up the custom games and we ended up sending him a fat donation so shout out to him guys let's roll it yeah it's a 1v1 this is this is this is it man um he does have the scar he's, he's actually carrying two ars i don't know if he's gonna elect to use both of them uh but at this point playing the low ground is is still very effective these days yeah um, you can you can get a lot of great peaks from the low ground absolutely notice how as long as you can track your opponent you should yes. be good absolutely oh and this guy lays down the heavy sniper oh. shot and follows it up with two shotgun shots we're still at 80 and 31. did he just take high ground just I think here he just took high ground wow, yeah the player went down to aggressively try to finish this kill but it just it, it maybe not the best play right now he's shooting out the floor I wonder how much mats this guy has, because he's just free building right now. He's free building and Bluff is completely out, huh? So we'll see. I mean, oh, it, man. he actually goes out in the storm. Interesting play. Oh, he's got to get back in or he's done. He wow. Needs to back in. And there he shows. Oh, 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 wow. oh my god. Oh, no mats, almost no health. Incredible. Wow, man. That definitely deserves a big donation right big there, donation guys. Big donation time. Let's oh go, Bluff. God, go, dude, Bluff is chat right up. now, man. Yeah, Just link Bluff and Ed. Yo, the Fortnite cat with fifty dollar donation, bro. <laughs> Yo. Oh my god, dude. So do me a favor, guys. Go check out Bluff. His link will be down below his Twitch channel. Go drop him a follow. Go watch him. I think he's live right now. Huge shout out to him for popping off. We are going to be doing more of these open custom games so you guys can earn shout outs. You can earn money. So stay tuned for more of those, guys. That is going to be the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, drop a like on it. Every like really helps support the channel. And also subscribe for more daily content. I'm out of here, guys. Peace.